So you asked, is it an original sin argument? Yes. People are predisposed towards doing bad by their nature. If, 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 why do we have to teach kids to stop crying? Child psychology. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. So, guys, we're back here with a new video, guys. So, they're going to be reacting to woke gender activists left in tears. Okay? Let's give it a try. You know how I do it to talk less right now. Yes, more? Let's get into today's video. So, there should be two genders. Correct. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that a, do you think a child, when they're boring, should be raised in a certain mold or you think that child should be able to determine what gender it is as it grows up? I think that child should be allowed to determine what gender that they define by. So if a child is born with an XY chromosome as a male, you shouldn't raise that as a son, you should allow that child to discover whatever it is. Yes. Okay, that, that's... You and they should I, be allowed to define themselves and define who they want to be seen as. Do, okay, so do you think there's differences between men and women? Yes, there are biological differences between men and women. But you, so then what would you, you would say to a child that's born, you, you're not going to raise it as a son or as a daughter, you allow it to discover itself. So sons should be allowed to have dolls, and, you know, whatever, and whatever happens, happens. Yes. I, are you saying that men should not be allowed to have Barbie dolls? I did not say that whatsoever, but I'm saying there's certain character attributes and traits of how young men should be raised and how young ladies should be raised. You are defining that women should be raised in one way and men should be raised in another way. Without a shadow of a doubt, yes. Men should have to restrain themselves from the physical prevalacuity. Men should, should men be to be gentlemen, to to you to never use force unless absolutely necessary. Men should have to mature over a long period of time to not indulge in their Darwinian proclivity to hurt, to harm, to hunt. And women who are more biologically likely to be nurturers and caretakers should be taught to be ladies in young age. There's not, they're that's biologically consistent. No, if, if women want to do something different, that's fine. However, the data shows when men and women are presented with equitable choices, women are much more likely to, oh, you should send that to Venezuela. I don't have that there. Um, um, when, when men and women around age of 6 to 18 are given the option of what kind of majors they want to study, women tend to go towards early childhood education, nursing, so on and so forth, and men tend to go towards business and finance. Finance, men and women have biological differences. Because and of the way that they were raised. No. No, that's that you and I completely disagree. It's because of the it's because of the DNA chromosomal structure that is inherent to who they are. What is the toilet? Where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? They have a predisposition. They have a predisposition towards a certain behavioral pattern. But goodness must be taught. Goodness must be taught. Goodness is good. Well, no, I mean. People are broken by nature. You must teach a child to stop crying or to stop lying or to stop are manipulating. People broken by nature? Yes. So are you going by the religious aspects that we Of original sin? Yes, because data supports it. And, I mean, child so psychology. Is this a so, no, I am an evangelical Christian if you want to ask me, but that's it's, it's a purely secular argument. Okay, but by stating, by stating the argument that people are born in sin, it's not a religious argument and that it's outside of politics and politics okay. and religion, uh, okay. religion should so, be separate. Uh, again, so you asked, is it an original sin argument? Yes. People are predisposed towards doing bad by their nature. If, 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 why do we have to teach kids to stop crying? What science backs that up? Child psychology. Jordan Peterson. You laugh? Yeah, one of the most noted. He published. Yeah, he taught at Harvard. He taught at some of the top schools across the world, and now he's being now he's being ostracized because he talks that men and women are different, which is now a radical notion in our university system. Men are better at some things than women, and women are better at some things than men. What things are men better at? Lifting heavy objects. Women are better caretakers and nurturers. Women are more organized. Women mature earlier. 
Yeah, I'm a way better nurturer than my sister. I work with kids. Holy shit. There are always exceptions to the rule. Oh, but the, the, the rule exists for a reason. No rule. So the top. There can't not be exceptions to a rule because the rule doesn't exist. No, that that's not the case. You have the rule, which is a generally generally true on the aggregate, but you always have things that are outliers to the data to the data trend. Always. So when you say that men are typically better physically positioned than you know physically um, gifted than women, that's true. I mean, if you look around. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say that again? That men are usually stronger physically than women? That is true. The data supports that. Are there women that are stronger than men? Of course. That's an exception to a rule. That's called an outlier to data. How is that naturally better? I'm not saying better. I'm not saying one, one sex okay. or gender is better okay. than the other. They're different. I can, see the, I can see your point. I can see that men do have more testosterone. Oh, okay. That, that, that's what I'm saying. So there's differences. Yes, but... Therefore, men are better at certain things than women, and women are better at certain things than men. Well, Chas is giving highest points. Tell me how this is how things works. This is not how things should be done. Even though people want it that way, but well, that's not how it's supposed to be. Children tend to make wrong decisions when they're younger, and later regret it. Or later feel like, okay, this is the reason why they were correcting me for that action. So I feel like you should not allow a young child but I mean, if you're not up to 18, you shouldn't make some ultra in life decision for yourself. But I shouldn't allow children to make that decision because they feel like something. Because later, they, they, they might tend to come and blame the parents. Like, why did you allow me to do this? You know, I was not grown up here enough to make such decisions. So I feel like that was the point he was trying to clear. Um, because the baby, because the child feel like, oh, mommy, I, I feel like a, I'm feeling like a guy right now. Whereas he's a female. It doesn't mean you should go do some life changing life changing alteration life changing ch changes in the person's life in the girl's life you should take your time watch the child and make sure the child reaches to a reasonable age 18 years to be like okay you can go make your own decision now whatever i choose you are growing enough but you should not alter baby's life because the baby feel like it it's not by the feeling it's about what is right and what is wrong you have to accept it that is how life is that is how it is that is how we see it to be not even how it's said to be. That is how it is. You understand? So you, you can't make an altering decision in, in the baby's life because the baby feel like he, ought, you, he or she wants to change. There are some girls who act like boys. Does not mean they're boys. With time, they grow up and pass the stage. And they start acting by who they are. Probably they grow up around brothers. So they have such traits within them. And they tend to bind by it. So right now they are they are all grown up and they feel like okay, I'm gonna try again. Let me start acting like one. So you shouldn't make any decision in the baby's life. You should allow them grow first to want to make the decision by their own self. Uh, I love how Charles handled it. I love the ladies. She was not actually provoked. Some people will be shouting or yelling at you right now. Also, some other people. I saw some guy and also some woman trying to contribute to the talk show. Telling, telling Charles that this is how it's supposed to be, but Charles telling him, no, you, this is your own point of view. This is how the world works. So they also gave her tissue. I don't know if they gave her to clean her tears, but I didn't see her crying actually, but she was kind of like calm, and f calm. She was calm and also feeling sad. She was kind of like sad with her voice. She was kind of like sad. Oh, so that. I know Charles makes this point, and I hope these people. Learn and know how the world works actually. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all